So I don't consider myself a minimalist, but when it comes to beauty products, I will say I definitely have fewer than most. So today I'm sharing 10 products that I think that you don't need. I feel like these are things that are kind of pushed on us and people tell us we should use them. I don't find any value or use in them. And if you're looking to declutter some of your beauty products, because we all know a lot of people have far too many of these, then I think these could give you some good ideas of maybe where to start. Also, my thumbnail mentioned that this was for women, but if you're a guy and you're watching, maybe there's something in here that could be useful to you too. So these are the 10 things I think you should never buy. I think you should declutter them if you have them. And as always, this is just my opinion. Take it with a grain of salt. So when I was growing up, this product was all the rage. And I mean, maybe this was just something that was very popular in the 90s. I have no idea. But one of the things that I think that you should ditch and that you don't need, toner. I truly do not believe that you need toner. I find that when I use toner, it's just too much for my skin. And a lot of these toners are made from drying ingredients like alcohol. And so when you use it, you're actually taking away important oils and moisture and you're hurting your skin barrier. So I just don't like to use them. If you're using a good cleanser, then just clean, clean your skin skip the toner. I think it's just extra cost and waste and, and just really no benefit. And sometimes I've even found that if I'm using these toners, they could actually cause me to break out, which you don't want. Okay, tell me if you agree with me on this one, but I find this product super unnecessary and I feel that a lot of influencers lately are pushing it and saying that we need it. Lip scrub. Do we need lip scrub? I'm not really sure that your lips need to be vigorously scrubbed and the dry skin being removed. I mean, listen, if you like using it, that's fine, but I think it's just an extra step. I also think that with lip scrubs, what happens, and this happens to me, is I will end up getting irritated lips from the lip scrubs or I will get chapped lips. Then it looks really bad. I would more so worry about getting moisture into your lips than I would exfoliating them. And honestly, if you want to have a lip scrub, I think you could just make your own. If you mix some olive oil and sugar together, it's the same idea, right? This next one, I 100% think that it's not needed unless you have very specific skin. Maybe if you have very oily skin, maybe. I'm not even sure about this, but it's a, it's a makeup primer. I do not think you need makeup primer. In fact, Instead of primer, what I actually do is I use a moisturizer with sunscreen in it, and this is just my go-to moisturizer. I will put the one up on the screen that I use. I've been using this for a couple of years. It's really good for you because it's a mineral sunscreen, and for some reason, the sunscreen does the same thing as a primer. So you don't need to go out and buy an extra primer if you're using this. And I did do some research before I shared this tip and it does look like makeup artists are in an in agreement. So if you are using sunscreen, that can function perfectly as a primer. My caveat on primers though, I do think that if you wear eyeshadow, I actually find eyelid primers effective. I have one, I love it. If I'm gonna be wearing eyeshadow, I must use this primer because it's the only thing that will make sure that the eyeshadow stays on my eye. It will last all day, it's the best thing ever. I can link it if you're looking for one, but I do think on your eyelids, that is where a primer is useful. If you enjoy content about simplifying your home and simplifying your life, don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below, it's free. This next one I feel very strongly about and, and maybe Maybe you've already realized this, but if you haven't, you're gonna be like, wow, you're totally right. You do not need a separate day and night cream. I know that they sell you a morning and a PM cream. You can use the same cream. But I will also tell you, kind of in this same exact tip of what you don't need, you also do not need a separate body and face cream. You can use the same one. I use the CeraVe moisturizing cream. I use it as my morning cream, my night cream, my body cream, all in one. I think that by labeling these products as morning and evening and face and body, it gives them the excuse to really jack up the price. So I just go for the all in one. It's perfectly fine. It does not cause pimples. It says it right on the container that it's non-comedogenic, so it's perfect. So this next one is very highly pushed in the beauty industry, and I think it's probably the most expensive per ounce that you can buy. Can you guess what it is? It's eye creams. I've shared before that I don't use eye creams anymore. I've stopped buying them. I kind of think they're a waste of money. They're just this tiny pot of cream and they're really expensive. So if you're trying to moisturize the skin around your eyes, just take the same thing that you're using on your face and use it like you would an eye cream. That's what I've been doing for years. 
I don't notice a difference. I think it's great. My whole eye area is moisturized. Now this one, I've also been seeing a lot of social media ads. Maybe they're targeting me. I have no idea. Let me know what you think about this. I think this is also totally unnecessary. Neck cream. Do we need a special cream for our neck that is different from our face? Or they also sell the chest cream and the neck cream. It's all of your skin. I truly do not see why I would need a different cream there. I think also the neck creams are quite expensive, even more expensive than the face cream. I get it, right? You want to moisturize your neck. Well, just use your face cream. Just as you're putting on your face cream, take it down your whole area here and you're good to go. So this next one I used to use in college and it's really fun to use and it's fun to watch and see and you think it's actually doing something. But then I've noticed a lot of dermatologists posting that these are actually not good for you. It is the pore strips for your nose. You know, the ones that you wet and you put them on, you let them dry and then you peel them off and they practically just take a whole layer of your nose off with them. I think that these could damage your skin. I know that I've heard many dermatologists say that they're not really doing anything. They're just very expensive and not helping. If you have blackheads, I'm gonna tell you what I did because I had bl like blackheads and large pores. I have been using a retinol. I'm using Differin at nighttime. I've been using that now for maybe a year or two. I used to use it in my 20s and then I stopped. You cannot use it while pregnant, so just, just note that. But I stopped for a while and now I'm using it again and just seeing really good results with it. It's getting rid of blackheads. It's shrinking my pores. It's really good exfoliant, like a chemical exfoliant. So I highly recommend that over the pore strips. And a good side effect of the different is that it also helps with fine lines and wrinkles and it helps to build collagen. So over the summer, I go to the pool and I see people and they've got their big sunscreen and then I see them pulling out something smaller. And if you look to see what it is, they've got a body sunscreen for the pool and a face sunscreen for the pool. I know that they sell these versions of the body sunscreen for your face. They're a third of the size and three times the price as the body creams. Again, I just think this is very brilliant marketing on their part. I do not think that you need a special body sunscreen and a face sunscreen. It can be one and the same. No need to waste your money and, and clutter up your bathroom. I will admit, however, I do like those sunscreen sticks for my kids' faces. I don't like it for my face, but for my kids, especially my youngest, I can just kind of slap it on him and rub it in and it's much better than trying to deal with the goopy cream. So I do think the sticks are great for kids. So five years ago, my daughter and my mom and I went to Paris. It was the 70th birthday trip for my mom and we had a great time, but... What we didn't plan for is that it was gonna be one of the hottest summers on record. I mean, it was brutal when we were there. It was so hot that we stayed in this apartment and they, of course, there was no air conditioning. We had to leave the window open, but it was in a really busy neighborhood, so there were a lot of people around. It was just very difficult to sleep and just very hot, and it was very sunny. So my daughter and I were out and we were ducking into stores to cool off because some of the stores would be air conditioned and we would just kind of get really hot and we'd say like, let's stop in this store and cool off a little. So we went to this pharmacy and we were just looking around cooling off and I noticed they had this Evian water spray on sale and it's just like this little pump bottle and you spray it on and they had buy one, get one free. And my daughter and I were like, wow, this is really cool. It's so hot here. This is really exciting. Let's buy this. So we bought the spray, we were using it for a couple of hours. Well, guess what? The pump broke, so I had this bottle of water that we had paid for that we couldn't use because the sprayer broke. And I just kind of started to think about it and I realized if it wasn't so hot, we never would have even thought to buy such a thing. And I, I see people using this in the summer and spraying th themselves and it looks really cute and you think you want it, but, but really, it's just water. You're spraying it on your face. The pump's gonna break. Don't even bother. No one needs a face spray. So this next one, and, and, and maybe these exist for a reason. I do not know what that reason is, and I've been seeing these a lot lately as well, and I just think this can contribute to more clutter in your bathroom. It's the foot masks. Have you seen these? I mean, I understand face masks because you put these on and you can walk around and live your life and do your you know nighttime beauty routine. But a foot mask, you're gonna put these masks on your feet, you're gonna have to stay where you are, probably in the bathtub, and just wait for them to dry. I don't know, I just find these to be very impractical. I'm not really sure what they're doing. And I think 
truly all you need to do is exfoliate and moisturize your feet. I really don't think you need a mask for them. I mean, are they fun? Probably. Are they necessary? Probably not. Okay hey guys, that's my quick video on 10 beauty products that are cluttering up your bathroom. These are things you do not need, don't buy them. And again, as always, all my opinion, I am nobody, I have no idea what you like and what you don't like. These are just some ideas if you're looking to do a little decluttering. So thank you so much for watching and if you wanna keep the decluttering going, I am gonna link a video here, click on it, I'll see you over there. Bye bye.